Okay, in this video, we are going to look at the biggest competitor to X. It's called Threads, new from Instagram, and going to talk to you in this video about how to use it, the kind of content you should be posting on there, and what it's all about, really. It's a really useful one. And keep an eye out for Threads, because I've got a funny feeling this year that it is really going to take off. Before we do that, remember to subscribe to the channel. Um, around 75% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel. So please do hit that subscribe button. It really does help with creating content. Okay, so let's dive into this video. We're going to take a closer look at threads from Instagram. Pretty much, first of all, it's a new app that's available uh, from Instagram. And it's also linked on your Instagram page as well. So when people scroll through your feed and they go to your profile, they'll be able to see a link at the, on your page that takes them to the threads account. If you want it on there, you can remove that, by the way. And it is pretty much built by the Instagram team, mainly for sharing text updates and joining public conversations. It's really about starting a conversation and getting involved in a conversation. At the moment, Threads links to your Instagram and uses your Instagram account to get you logged in and threading, as they call it. At the moment, Instagram announced that it's releasing Threads to more than 100 countries. So if you don't have it yet in your app store, It'll probably be with you very soon. So keep an eye out. It's definitely coming. How does it work? So how does the actual Threads app work? Well, the app is very, very similar to Twitter. And honestly, quite a few other apps out there that are text-based as well. Threads lets you post text-based posts along with images and videos and links as well. Each post can be up to 500 characters long, which is more than Twitter. And videos have to be five minutes or less for you to be able to upload them. Your account can be private or public, similar to Instagram. So to download the app, just go to the app store, type in threads and you'll see it come up. So starting off at the top, um, we have my name and then what I'm known as on Instagram. Uh, remember this part is searched for on Instagram. So I have that as Soulful House DJ. Um, and then my tag name underneath, that's what it comes up on threads. Then we've got a profile picture, again, using the same one from Instagram and my bio as well there how many followers i have and then this is the link that i've included so you can include a link if you've got a website i definitely think you should add a link to that or if you've got a social tap page with multiple links then add that in there as well people can also click on this and go over to your instagram page as well um, directly which is a really really cool feature so the main looks that you've got are threads which is all the threads that i've posted here then you've got replies, um, which is all of the messages and things that you've got, basically replies to your messages. Um, any reposts that you've done that you've shared from other people, I haven't done any of those yet, so there's no posts um, here yet. But that's what the main um, feed will look like on your page. Then at the top, you've got the, this is the profile icon. Um, this is likes, so anything that you've liked or people that have liked of yours, you can go on there and you can follow people back that have followed you. Uh, you can then click on follows. So these are all the people that are currently following me. Um, any replies that you get there, this is a great way to keep up with all the notifications that you have coming in. Also, this one will be any mentions where people have given you a shout out or you've shouted out other people as well. Um, you'll also have one here called quotes, reposts and verified as well. So these are all of the verified accounts that you are currently following. If you want to follow them back, just click on that follow back button. Next up, this is where you can actually post um, a new thread. This one is where you can do a search and look out for accounts that you want to follow. So this is actually the main feed on uh, threads. And again, you'll see things like this pop up where you can, uh, it suggests people that you can follow and you just go ahead and click on that follow button if you want to follow any of these people. Uh, the other option at the top here is the uh, two lines where you can get more access to your account. So this one is appearance where you can change the feel of it. If you want to go to dark mode, just click on that. If you want daylight mode, that one. And auto, it will change during the day. So in the daytime, it will be white. And then in the evening, it will be black. Settings, this is where you go and do any of the, if you want to change to a private account, you can do that. Uh, you can also look at profiles that you've blocked or click on hidden words. Um, this is also where you can deactivate your account or delete your account uh, by clicking on here, following the information below there. 
Um, then you've got other bits, personal information, supervision, security, account status, download your information, transfer your information and cookies as well. And then this is the help button where you can get more help on anything you're struggling with on threads. So there you go. There's our look at threads. It's definitely going to be a big platform, I think, in 2024. There's going to be lots more added to it. And I also think a lot more people are going to come over from X um, because it's just not a great place to be at the moment. It's always very negative. It's great for news updates and things like that and for following huge celebrities. But in my opinion, that's kind of about it. Um, Threads seems to be a lot more happier place to be with a lot more positivity on there. So we know it's another platform that we have to think about. But if you're looking to grow on social media, you need to be on these platforms early. And you can quickly get your numbers up with people that are currently following you on Instagram, being able to follow you directly as well. So give it a go if you're not doing so already. Threads is definitely going to be one to watch in 2024. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to the channel. We're going to be posting a lot more content about social media and DJ tips as well. All of this stuff is geared towards helping DJs learn how to grow a big audience and how to use social media the right way. If you want to know more, head to my website, uh, rockinsocialmediaagency.com. Plenty of details on there. And you can also link to my DJ page, Paul Hutchinson DJ as well. All right, I'll see you in the next video.